everybody should say, we now know this as a result of the 20th century because we never knew before what sociology would discover, what psychology would discover. We now know what technology does to us. And that's the basic human thing, exactly what you're saying. We create this stuff, so why would we think it's not going to affect us? It might even change our human natures. So with that, with that principle, you then engage in daily interaction with topics like what's happening today in the Middle East, with that framework. And, and you don't even need to have people go to school. You just get on there and have a forum, a constant forum coming out of the White House. This is the basic thing we understand. And it's, and it, and it's not right-wing, left-wing, middle anarchist or anything. It is just a fact. They have a limited media diet. They get the manuscript culture, they get the oral chanting and whatever they're early media they got. They've got early media development compared to the overload of the five-bodied American. Yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah. Now, now, let me just throw this point in. McLuhan in the 50s warned. In the 50s, he said, you stupid United Nations, you're sending transistor radios in the Middle East. This will cause civil war, tribal warfare, and the whole thing that, that happened. He was, and they had no clue. They, oh, no, no, we must inform. They want to have the radio so they can inform each other and believe in information. That's the bias of the literate person who thinks if you send out information, a intelligent mind or reasonable mind will think through, oh, that's good information. We will adopt that. And as Jockey Lowe said, the propaganda is not in the messages and content of a culture, it's the media technologies of the culture in general. In action, that is the propaganda. And that's what nobody understands anywhere. It's based on a literate bias that thinks, you know, the uh, Shannon Weaver model. I have some information, I just get rid of uh, the noise and proper grammar, and you can understand what my clear paragraph is, paragraph of thinking. And you can write a paragraph back to me, and we have a reasonable dialogue. That is so biased, there's no medium, and America's built on the printing press. It's the only culture built on the printing press. That's their Bible. Christian fundamentalism in the United States is the book of fundamentalism. We say the book is the most valuable medium, and the Bible is the best book of all of them. Whereas other cultures wake up other media, take up and the, in the Middle East, they wake up the manuscripts, hobbies, yeah. you know, the Koran. Pattern we can know if you're a baby boomer or an older, if it sounds, maybe in Generation X, and you can see the, 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 the main sociological knowledge we have today. You find all over the place. It's going to change things in an unpredictable way. But if you start to look at the dynamics of the culture the technology brought in, it's very brought in, you can predict. So McLuhan in 1966, he said, I'm studying what's happening to Greece. This is the United great tragedy. They're going to start having television this year. I predict some kind of a turmoil, and I don't know if he said it, he may have. He predicted a coup. I should and sure enough, in 67, you know, European culture uh, they had a coup. The colonel took over for about five years. See, so the point I'm saying that McLuhan has got the key to a cultural knowledge that, that anybody can understand now, as a general principle, most people understand. You can say today, the West totally embraced technology, not afraid of it anymore. It's become friendly and friendlier. The problem in the third world cultures of the Middle East, they know you can't stop technology. They just say, let's do it slower. So that's the argument. Do it fast, you know, Steve Jobs, every six months, new stuff, or maybe uh, slow it down and have a new thing every ten years. That's the battle. But everybody agrees with the techno cyborgian thing that's coming. They know we can't stop it. And so with that, you can apply to any field. So I say you, do, you should use that in your literary, well, media criticism. You got to see it to believe it. Because when I first heard about it, boss, I said, I don't believe it. Here it is. Watch and watch closely because it ends in spectacular fashion. No. Boom. <laughs> Whoa. Is that Sony Carter? Whoa. Is that this?